the deal though name is AJ. I see. No, not Ray J. AJ. Right here. What does AJ stand for? Anal justice. So the reason Ooh, why we call I it. Like that. <laughs> the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I think we're rolling. Yes, I think we are rolling. Oh my God, this is. Uh, we are. So, anal <laughs> anal an an justice. I, I know it sounds like a rock band's name, anal justice, but I have a deal though, and the name of it is well, well. First, we use it as a clothes hanger to put our towels on it, but uh, so. Uh, yeah, 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 it's a suction. No oh, so you've seen uh, this before. <laughs> <laughs> so suction deal though. Post coitus towels. Yeah, yeah, we just put our towels on it like it's a joke. But then oh, okay. how big is this dildo to put towels on? But it's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like I put it on the the, the Waterfall uh, live stream. It's like twelve yeah. inches oh. or something yeah, like that. But you know, you just it's adequate. Yeah, it's like you know you you know. But then we named it Anal Justice, so it's like if. You know, if a person so, got on our nerves, we would just stick the dildo in his <laughs> anal, and it'd be like this justice. So justice um, is a dish. about the Wilderfall record. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, about the Wilderfall record. If, if you guys don't know what the fuck's going on, uh, hey, it's Brian Israel Metal Swap Talk hanging out with the Wilderfall boys. Uh, getting a little too personal already. Too much wine already with this. Thanks for joining us, guys. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. More wine. Um, all right. Hey, where's your wine? Where's your wine, Anthony? Right? Just drink out of the We're ball. missing. Dang! Oh. Hey. Uh, Can we get a glass for Anthony? Can you bring one? Thank you. Una mas, por favor. Uh, welcome back to San Diego. Thanks for uh, Thank hanging you, out. Yeah. We're here Thanks. for a little bit. Uh, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on the new album, uh, Curse of Autumn, out now on Century Media Records. <laughs> That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> What's that album we did? <laughs> yeah, something like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, from what I understand, the response to the album has been uh, quite excellent. Uh, since the release in March, how satisfied are you guys with the album? Not as satisfied as the girl that got that. <laughs> Justice, you need yeah. the you need the mic. You need the mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the mic. Yeah. I heard he needs a glass. Yeah, yeah he does. He does. <laughs> Thank you, man. I need to project more. That, that thing you is do. Justice, I tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> no, that's that's like a plug. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that, that's all right, sir. Speaking of the label. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of the label. Yeah. What about the label? <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with the album? How it came out? Are we happy with the album? Yeah. I mean that. Who gives a fuck? I mean, <laughs> it's out already, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's done. It's it's fucking past. I mean, I think most people that have heard it are happy with it. I mean, who cares? <laughs> Some people are happy with it. Oh. We hope they're happy with it. <laughs> I mean, they're. If we're happy with it at the very end, that's all we give a fuck. <sighs> talk, Jake. Just talk into the label. That's it. That's that's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There you are. I'm not a vocalist. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> that's totally fine. When we signed off with the record, it was the happiest we've ever been with doing a record. So that's all that matters to us. I mean, there you whether, go. Whether people like it or not, it's kind of uh, it's an you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like if if we like the songs, then that's all that matters, you know. Sure. Absolutely. Hopefully, other people like them. Yeah. yeah if absolutely. not, we'll be like sleeping on the streets. <laughs> Uh, the album was released uh, on several physical media formats. Are you guys big uh, physical media collectors, big vinyl nerds, tapes, CDs? Yeah, yeah I like vinyl. I, like I, I know. Too. It's just like, you know, a, a celebration of music, isn't it? You know, well, hell yeah, you know, in my car, I listen, you know, to Apple streaming as well, the, the high quality one or something. Yes, I have nothing against it, but I really enjoy listening to like a nice vinyl record opening a bottle of wine with it. You know, and and celebrating music, and yeah. then you have to kind of—it's a performance, right? You put like the fucking you know record <laughs> on the turntable, and then you know—it's a bit of a ritual, after right? Twenty minutes, side two happens. You have to turn it off. No, there's no. like something cool about it. You have to concentrate no. about it. You have to celebrate it. So yeah, I'm a I'm a geek about like you know physical performance. <laughs> what kind of wine should people be drinking when they listen to vinyl? Uh, with a wine. Yeah, with a wine. <laughs> Charlie and Echo. Yes. Red blend wine. I think Anthony's got a uh, something to add to that. Yeah, I'm a personal fan of CDs. Okay. Like 80s baby. So, um, I right, here. right here. Yeah. It's, it's to me, it's something about having the physical copy of like 
the, the, the record, you know what I'm saying? Because it makes you focus and concentrate. Like, you take out the time, you put this on, put on the record. Now, you have to listen to it. You've already dedicated something to this. It's not something as simple as, like, cut on a streaming service and then you can just easily just press a button. You know, it's, it's to me, it's more, you, you're more focused on the music. Yeah. And, and you're, more, you can read the lyrics along with yeah, what's going on. Yeah, then you have the, the lyrics. You can read what everybody's doing, you know, who, what guitar Jake played, the lyrics. It's more per- to me. It's more personal. So me, I prefer the CDs, and I actually I listen to the CD all the time in my car. It's yeah. more of a representation yeah. of the actual artist yeah. that you're holding yeah. in your hand, yeah. I guess. Right? It's, it's a little bit more personal than, you know, yeah. Uh, digital. Yeah, 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 yeah. To me, my Spotify, my, which Spotify yeah. is still cool. You know, oh, we don't, on, we don't mind. On. Also, at the end of the day, if you don't like the record, it'll make great coasters <laughs> for our their fall wine. <laughs> for this wonderful wine. <laughs> the the fucked up thing though. Like in the modern fucking music business paradigm, is that you're actually doing the artist a disservice. After you buy the fucking thing, mm-hmm. if you're gonna play it on the on on your vinyl player or your fucking CD player, at least put it on Spotify too and hit play so we get the fucking money from the streams. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> you think I'm fucking kidding? No, no, you're like, right. Yeah. You too. No, yeah. like. All the like booking agents and all that, that's all they look at. They don't all they care about. They don't see the fact that you outsold all the other artists' physical media. Mm. All they see is your streaming numbers. Okay. So like if you really want to support an artist, yeah, buy the fucking shit, buy all the shirts, buy the wine, buy everything. But, you know, like put on Witherfall, make a playlist, hit play, and leave it going twenty four seven on like six <laughs> of your devices. <laughs> And just leave it on mute, right? And just yeah, listen to so, re- oh, no, listen to the real shit. That's the thing. A lot of like like underground artists do this bullshit when they like try to play it. If you put it on mute, Spotify, and you like they don't count those don't as count plays. It. Yeah. it has to at least be above yeah. the, that zero decibel. Oh. Yeah. Fun Dude, music. We are learning a lot Actually, of stuff we're today. Doing, we're doing a music yeah. business course, and we'll talk all about. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that you can turn the volume down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, me and me and Joseph, I've I've been getting these questions. Yeah. Time and time again by people all over the world, and, and we were like, "Free advice," and I'm like, "Yeah, I don't even have time for my own career. Why am I gonna?" I, I mean, I, I do sometimes give like quick free advice, I mean, you know. Free advice by Dogecoin. We we're talking. Yeah, about by Dogecoin. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, listen here. What this is it? Is not the, good. It's the seventeenth. Okay. Throw yourself in the river. Don't have your fucking family come blaming us. Exactly. Like, just, Once just, it uh, completely right, tanks. It's such a good hang here. You know, like, everybody's at a good cruising altitude. Yeah. You know, and, uh, All right. Yes, yeah, yeah, please. Here, uh, so. Get close. Yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. Uh, something's wrong with your phone. Uh, what? Oh, oh, no. Hold on. Once again. There it is. Excellent. Uh, I don't think I caught Jake though. Hold oh, on. that's get in Jake. close. Jake. We have to have Jake. God. One, two, three, drunk. Ah, perfect. Excellent. There you are. Excellent. On to the next question. Yes. <laughs> next next oh, question. Wait, right. is this being live streamed on YouTube? No. No, no, no. no, no, no. We have control of this. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say something stuff. awful. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. There's all right, only no going to be like three people watching this shit anyway. Yeah, no, that's all good. Uh, oh, is that the N90? No, no. Used to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure nothing. No COVID could get past that fucking engineering right? marvel. All right, so being a, a fairly active uh, live band, uh, how did the whole COVID situation, the shutdown, affect you guys as far as shows go uh, from last year? Well, uh, th- there were none. As much as the stolen election. <laughs> oh, that. oh, do we want to get into that? No. Do we want to get into that? Oh, what? <laughs> Alleged. Please. Uh, Elaborate. I mean, I mean, I mean, the band. I mean, obviously, no band was playing any shows, right? Uh, we had the, uh, I guess, fortune that our album came out. Like we were working on the album and it kind of came out like during the height of COVID or whatever. Yeah, but we had uh, the fortune of risking our lives getting on airplanes and fucking. Well, actually, <laughs> close space in the studio. All know, right, so for for the live as. God damn it, <laughs> fucking Nasla. Uh, Both sides of the way. Don't worry. <laughs> He's an engineer, so I gotta, I gotta I bitch at him. <laughs> I don't know anything about sound. Um, uh, so doing live live shit, we didn't really do any of that stuff. But for the actual record. <laughs> 
we cold called Marco, like basically <laughs> out of the blue. His website, yeah. yeah, and his no, website. Well, our, 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 yeah. well, we had our other drummer. We had we had Gergo uh, Gergo Borelli, a fucking mm-hmm. amazing Borelli, Borelli, Borelli. Hey, Borelli. Very Actually, memorable Anthony drummer. Because <laughs> Anthony's Anthony knows Gergo. Yeah. So what about Gergo? What what am I talking give, about? Give the, right? the, the, all the dirt yeah. that you know about Gergo. No, just give no, the give the quick rundown. How you met? Really oh, okay. Right. So we met Gergo uh, while we were working on our second record. Um, we it didn't work out with the well, the second drummer. So we had to find another drummer last Fine minute. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Gergo, I, I pretty much called him. I was like, Yo, man, dude, I really need your help. Uh, dude, like, do me this favor. I need you to fly to Florida and re- record a fucking metal record. <laughs> in like four days. It's just a small favor, right? Yeah, dude, I like, dude, I didn't need a smaller favor. So he thought I was gonna. Yeah, in like, like eleven minute songs and shit. So he thought I was gonna be like, yo, you know, come do a quick gig for me around the corner. I'm like, no, man, I need for you to. He was in Greece. He he yeah, no. He was in Greece. Yeah, he was in Greece. Oh, and he had to go. To- oh, yeah. My gosh. Yeah, so he had to fly from Greece. I didn't know. I thought he was in L.A., but. Okay, so he was in Greece. And then I was like, yo, man, do me this huge favor, man. I need you to fly to Florida, cut this record, man, with these guys. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They got some crazy drummer playing. I don't know what this guy doing. Dude, just look, man, look. Just, it's a one-time favor for me. After this, I don't care what else happened, but just do this record for me. Anthony couldn't play bass to the record. Yo, that video we had last night. So like we got really fucked up last night. I don't um, remember. And <laughs> so we can't hear you. We're fucking. All the way. We we spent nine days. Oh, it's the same thing. It's yeah, was yeah. it Omni? What is, is it? Is it Omni? Okay. I think so. Yeah. So we fucking Omnicoin. nine fu- yeah, Omni coin. Nine days in the studio trying to record drum tracks, <laughs> burning thousands of dollars and precious minutes of our lives. And no usable tracks. In fact, Anthony was slated to come out and do bass, and he's like, "Is, is, is that's the drum track?" He's like, "Turn it off." So he just played to the fucking click. Oh <laughs> In fact, <laughs> la- last night I found an old video of Jake playing some of the like uh, baritone guitar rhythm tracks, and it's just him to the click and me standing there going, "Oh yeah, oh." chorus like uh, like that's it there's like nothing else it's like we we recorded the whole record before the fucking drummer even ended up playing the death. but then but uh, it's like a fucking asshole if i don't talk into the mic <laughs> i always do <laughs> but then gergo came and saved the day anyways going back to curse of autumn we were gonna have gergo but then the fucking COVID happened and he got stuck in Spain I think yeah, Spain. and then so we're like what the fuck are we gonna do and we're like well number one on our list is Marco Menemen let's just see if he'll if he's willing to do this yeah well I wasn't you guys threatened me that's why I came forward and then and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they kind of you know <laughs> some Satanist shit going on, you know, and then they had like the Witherfall wine, and we kind of made up for that. He like, sent me a few cases. Perfect. And I was like, sure, I gotta get over. <laughs> no, it was, it was really, really fun. I really gotta say, and we recorded actually all together at the height of COVID, wasn't it? I remember like it being being at the hotel in in, in the uh, in the Woodland Hills or something, you know. I was the only person there. <laughs> it was like it was like creepy in a way, you know, but. But man, did we have a fun time, you know. I don't remember how the record was because we kept our, we kept drinking, you know. That no, was we, a we, thing. Uh, <laughs> so, so, like, this Witherfall batch of wine is the 2019 was the one that we were drinking. This is 2020. Marco, Joseph, and I went through three bottles of wine in 15 minutes after a session <laughs> one night. <laughs> And man, the fucking stories we were telling. That was one of the funnest hangs. So, yeah. Anyways, what was your question, man? (laughs) (laughs) It it doesn't matter. This is way better. (laughs) Um, You guys have some pretty... uh, some pretty high quality videos uh, that you put out there. Uh, how involved are you guys in, in the in the creative process for the videos? Pretty, in, pretty involved. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like the like the portrait video 
like I basically produced it. We hired a director producer, but I ended up fucking producing it. And that noose that you see them dig up before wow. the end of the video, I actually went to Home Depot and bought the rope and then learned how to tie a noose. And then I fucking <laughs> I sprayed it with the fucking lick the starch. Oh, give it this motherfucking microphone. Hey, look, man. This dude took me to Home Depot with him. To right? get the noose? To get a fucking, like, <laughs> and he, we're walking through the line. I'm like this black guy walking with him, and he's buying a fucking... <laughs> this turn and then I can see the people. I can see the people, like... <laughs> no, don't worry. We're in a rock band. No, 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 nothing to worry about. We're in a rock band together. <laughs> he's like, he's like, hey, Anthony, do you think this noose will fit? Do you think this is a good? Yeah. Do you think this will work? No, yeah, well, maybe. But none of them interfered. They just looked at you. You know what it is? I feel like Gene Simmons back in '76 with Ace Frehley laughing hysterically and talking a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> delivered was actually where he was on this Tom Tom Snyder show yeah, yeah, or something yeah, like that, yeah, right? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, it's a, it's a you, trout. You, it's if, a bass. If you put it up, I'll deliver it to you. That's like this one thing, you know, where he goes like, you know, well, you know, he reads up and he has like this accent and he goes like, you know, so uh, Paul Sandy, you're the star child yes, and yes, blah, blah, this, it. and you're the yeah. demon. And then, you know, uh, and so uh, you, uh, Gene, you, 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 you play the bass. And then he goes, it's really and you, and he goes like, no, nah, I'm actually a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> what he said first, that was good too. What he said, what he said first was like, so he goes to Gene Simmons, goes like, yeah, you're the demon, and you play the bass. And then Ace goes like, yeah, and I play the trout. <laughs> and, then, and then, and then he goes like, and you're the spaceman. Well, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> Shit, all right, I missed it. I fucked it up. I fucked it up, man. I fucked up the goddamn history on oh, that. I know. Yeah. God damn it. Anyways, any other quiz? <laughs> <laughs> what was your question? Wait, wait, wait. What was it's your okay. question, man? I, I, like, I like the route this is going. All these fucking questions there. Okay, okay. Let's answer the question. All right. Okay. So, oh, wait, wait. He was talking about the videos on there. Yeah, yeah, um, the videos. Like 70,000 tons of metal interview we did. This is yeah, like the. You interviewed us. I he did. Yeah. No, that, was, that is still the craziest interview. You remember what he said? No. What I said? Oh, oh yes. Hey, what did he say? What I said? Yeah, yes. give him the mic. I want to hear what oh. he said. Oh. Okay. So. I'm just waiting for the. Yeah. yeah here. <laughs> Why don't you put it under the no, table? No, because then it'll get worse. No. Yes. So, so there we go. Put the wine under the table. So, um, I, I interviewed with a fall at 70,000 tons of metal for Gear Gods at the time. It was before I joined the band, obviously. And uh, it was the first show. It was with a fall's first show ever. Yeah. It was right after with the fall's first ever show. Uh, and uh, I was interviewing them and we were talking about the first album and uh, you know talking about uh, at the time and I think it was your first show yeah. where you guys spread Adam's uh, yeah, a yeah. vial of Adam's ashes and, and Anthony stepped on it and Anthony stepped on it right <laughs> hold up the story yeah yeah it's oh, a video yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, it was a video it's a video yeah it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a video it's, it's on, we have a clip it's of that a, yeah it's on my it's on my YouTube channel on Gear Gods oh, on YouTube uh, and you know, like it was, it was like sanctioned. It wasn't like we like, stole Adam's ashes or anything like that. His it was an actual international crime. Well, no, what I mean, like his, like his family was like cool with it and everything is what I mean. They brought them. Yeah, they brought it. That's yeah, what I mean. That's like in the Muslim world where they bring the daughter to get raped by the village. Like that doesn't mean it's not a crime. <laughs> it's still illegal. I I don't see the connection, but okay. Right. Anyway. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So. Uh, so I I, I, I ask uh, I, you know I I asked them about like Adam and stuff like Palestinian so you can say that <laughs> okay anyway I asked Jake about Adam Sagan and uh, uh, Jake uh, calls Adam dying from cancer and all that uh, an unfortunate mishap oh yeah I remember that it's not that bad he called Adam Sagan dying from cancer. An unfortunate mishap. What the fuck would you call it? <laughs> I mean, when you break it down. <laughs> That's not a mishap. It's, it's reduction. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not. It's That's. Like, That's. I mean, how would you call it? Yeah. 
oversimplification yeah. for a quick answer. Dude, yeah, guess. yeah. Dude. I thought you were going to drop this bombshell that, and then, like, we'd never be able to play in the United States. No, I mean, that was... Oh, Jake used the words unfortunate mishap. No, no, that was, that was just a... The nerdiest shit I've ever that's heard. That's just the tip of the iceberg. It was a 40-minute long interview, but... Yeah, that was quite anticlimactic, so, actually. So, um, this interview has kind of took a different turn. Got out of control. <laughs> I <laughs> think this, this happened typical... last time I talked to you guys. It, it, the same thing, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> it's actually fantastic. Well, I mean, well, okay. No. So when you have interviews with most bands, it's like, okay, please, yeah, oh, whatever, yeah, like fucking, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah for it's sure. It's the heaviest, the fastest sounding record we have. Titanic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, just, just, just give me the, the okay. give me all the answers right now. I'll go right through them in, uh, in a way how most fans no, will do it. This is a good one. Who's the biggest fucking wine on this band? Who's the biggest wine on the band? That would be me. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I don't know. We have Marco now too. Marco is Wait, what? Who's the biggest what? Who's the biggest wino in the band? The biggest wino. It's one of you two. I know that. I just don't know which. Yeah, one. you know, I get up earlier than those guys, <laughs> so like, look. Here, give me this. <laughs> <laughs> I've done more fucking drugs than the entire state of California, but Jake Dreyer certainly takes the fucking top prize of fucking drinking. Like, well, I, well M- Marco, we've had Marco and I. Are is this a duel off? Are we gonna like be like Marco Collum, Jake Collum? <laughs> no, I mean, it's a wino oh, off. Jake's gonna win. I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, oh, hold on. Alex has some input. I will just say this: we, after we had our photo shoot, we had dinner. We, after we had our photo shoot, we all had dinner, and Marco could tell the exact where where the wine was made oh, and yeah. the year, ju- just by smelling it and tasting it. But that's so yeah, that's no because Jake is impatient and it just goes down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just okay. saying that was pretty impressive. I, that he is was like, very he, impressive. He, he, he like drank it, smelled it, uh, 2017, and it's from uh, Northern California. That was fucking. <laughs> like what the hell? He's right. <laughs> well, yeah, that was... if it's not from other countries, it's most likely from either Oregon yeah. or Northern California. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah, actually, cool. I remember, uh... You're not trying to doubt my expertise on what's going no. on here. No, <laughs> no, I'm just hedging. I'm hedging. hedging. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the most impressive thing was seeing, uh, we had, uh... We were doing a video shoot, and we were doing... I think we saved the instrumental last, which is, like, the... We ate Indian food yeah, and drank a shit ton of wine. And then Marco goes and plays the song and <laughs> knocks that one take. And it was like, okay, yeah, it's great. So he's actually the better wino if it's – if Jake if falls I'm... over, and I have yet to see Marco fall over. Well, there you go. I no, get... Tonight might be different. Oh, yeah. He's got uh, – yeah, yeah, like, We have like a stay here. You have right? your own yeah. room. Have your own room, yeah. yeah. Wait. Drive, and I did, like, we'll find out tonight <laughs> 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 who the better wino is. Um, <laughs> I get me too'd whenever I'm drinking too much wine. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, we can't go into that, so – uh, What's we'll, next? Uh, we'll raise that clip. Yeah, one moment, let me just check the camera. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, None of that was recording. Yeah. The camera was, the camera was like, like, fuck. Screw these guys. Hold on. Hey. Uh, yeah. 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 Right, what was that? Oh, no, no. That was a, a, a kind of a side kind of thing, but it's true. It's like we were talking about, you know, those kind of things. So, so uh, Mune, dear friend in Japan, you know, so he brought me to this one store, right? You know, at this one tour. And he goes, uh, he says, hey, look at this. There's like, you know, artificial deep throat blowjobs. I was like, no, yeah, that's fine. You can you can keep them. It's like, no, 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 I'll buy you some. I was like, no, I, I, I don't want <laughs> artificial. <laughs> yeah, they look, they look, they look like, you know, they, they, it's like a tube. It's like a tube and it feels exactly like a deep throat. So I, d- I, I but so you did try it. I didn't. Even I, d- I did. <laughs> but, but the thing is, but the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, but but the story was like you know, which which I thought was especially funny. Check this out. So I was like totally jet lagged in that fucking store in Osaka. It was a great store, anyways. Oh, but he goes like here in Osaka, exactly. Yeah, so and he goes and he and, and he goes and he, and, and he goes and he goes. Okay, I'll buy you a few of those. It's like I really don't want them. It's fine. He goes like, oh yeah, trust me, it's fine. So he puts them in the basket, 
And then we kind of walk, you know, towards the cash register. And then he goes like, oh, can you hold this back? You're not going to take a leak. So here's me, tall, white, kind of German guy standing with like a bunch of artificial <laughs> blowjobs. And there's like, and there's like, you know, this, these, these two, you know, cute kind of girls walking by just looking at me like. <laughs> I was like, thank you, Mune. Thank you, Mune. Thank you so much. I love this guy. <laughs> this is the type of fucking He just described, Marco just described himself as kind of German. <laughs> What? Well, I, well, I have like, what, what is it? One quarter, one quarter Polish, isn't it? Uh, My mom is born in Polish. She's happy. You, you, you have something, Jake? Um, hey, Arti Pol's got uh, I mean, artificial blowjobs that never leave the house again. Yeah. There was a thing with, with, with a girl we met. Oh, really? Oh, because I told, I, to I told her that story, and yeah. the next thing I knew was like, well, here, check this out. Oh. And it was oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was her. That was her. I'm not, I'm not and then you were like, you know what? You're right. Better than the r uh, artificial one. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are they better? I mean, are they pretty good? Like I scale one to ten. They're pretty. Uh, oh. Eight. You know the Come funny on, thing eight? is. Eight. 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 It's good. It's good. it's good. it's good. And the funny thing is, oh my god, I shouldn't eight. even say that. So I brought one of them over to Kerry King's That's house. Excellent. Yeah. And oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine because it was actually. It, it was. I'm sure he's fine. You heard it here. And then him and his wife. Folks. You know, they were like. Kerry King. And, 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 and then she. Uh, Aisha opens, opens one of them and goes like, and she goes like, oh, I'm actually kind of turned on. It's actually pretty cool. I've been on video. Yeah, good. It was, yeah. And she goes like, and then, you know, I was like, okay, guys, I gotta leave. And she goes like, oh, I'm not, not done with this yet. And it was kind of, and then Carrie was like, oh, you gotta fucking do this thing here. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it was the coolest thing, you know, it was the fucking funniest. We had so much fun. Well, I, uh, we, we might want to cut that out. But. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. that. It's, all, it's, not, it's been not. done. Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry. You're saying you want to cut out the story about <laughs> Carrie King <laughs> and his wife? What was your question? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, we, I can't wait to go back to Japan. That's, I just, Japan. To get the pocket pussies? That Is that? Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Because that's it. I just want to go. I want to go. Oh, so interesting fact about Japan. <laughs> so, like. Japan has some weird shit going on. Like, you go to, like, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, that's why Marty Freeman moved there, but. You, you, oh, <laughs> here we go. You fucking. You go to a batting cage and they got fucking knuckleballs and shit. And there's, like, 10 year old kids, like, hitting every goddamn pitch. Like, and I'm like, dude, like, I had scholarship offers when I was a kid and I'm barely keeping up with these, like, 10 year olds. Dude. dude. The, 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 my, yeah, my theory is the reason, the, like, if Japan was ever allowed to, like, actually, like, you know, like, be in, like, Major League Baseball, like, America would never win a championship ever again. Power. That's the problem. Oh, you think so? Yeah, okay. The, the, the fences are, like, 30 fucking feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. Like, Mr. Baseball! Yeah. You never saw Mr. Baseball? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> different yeah. dimensions. Yes, yeah. 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 It's, it's a Tom Selleck movie. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. I love that movie. All right, yeah, questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I think I forgot what I was gonna yeah. let's, let's get to the actual interview. Oh, All right. We we we've we've oh. we've gone we've gone to the point in the oh. interview where even the interviewer doesn't know what he's asking Big anymore. Tour at the end of the year, from what I understand. Yes. Maybe. 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 Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully so. Tell us about it. Who's going? What's happening? Uh, I mean, it's with uh, it's with Evergrey. Um, so. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, you know, oh, the, no, oh okay, no, fine, no, no, okay, no, no. you say, it sounds like you want it, okay, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, uh, European tour, uh, with Evergrey, um, uh, for, uh, October, October to November, uh, as far as we know, it's still happening, um, yeah, that's that's uh, all I know. <laughs> that's as far as I know. Uh, I really miss touring and uh, really want it to happen, but uh, you know. Why, is that, Alex? why do I want to play shows? Hey! Tell me about your dildos. Hey! Okay, AJ later. About the tour. Are we supposed to be going on tour? You know what? I really love playing with all of these guys. I never played with Marco before. We Actually, we we're, we're, we're gonna play with him. You did virtually. Yeah, yeah virtually. Yeah. I love playing with these guys, man, because like you know how the way we act now. Like even on stage, it's like it's whatever the fuck happened. Like sometimes me and him, um, we uh compete. Who could like? Oh, <laughs> who can steal the show? <laughs> who stole on our first on our first uh gig? What? Who won? Who won? Oh, God. Oh, I, can, I can answer that. I can answer that. Give me a fucking mic. I, 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 I can answer that. You did. I was there. 
first show ever with Witherfall, Anthony Crawford stole the show, hands down. Yeah. I was pissed. <laughs> I fucking went up to my bunk, we didn't plan on and then I got arrested on the boat oh, because I was. Geez. I got arrested. On the boat? Yeah, dude, I got thrown no, in the brig. Got thrown in the brig. I got thrown in the brig. No, 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 There's true actually story. a jail on so, 70,000 tons. That was about I, that. I know about jail? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, no, yeah, true story. Like, we competed. <laughs> we competed on stage, <laughs> and I won. He lost. He went back to his uh, room and like thought about it and got drunk and got arrested <laughs> and banned him from using his fucking drink. I'm not making this shit up, man. <laughs> this is great. When, when, when Jake got arrested, he lost his card, but he wanted to drink more. So without telling Joseph, he bar- like, well, he borrowed the card from Joseph. Didn't tell him why he didn't have his card saying, anymore. You know, like you're supposed to be. Right. <laughs> so then it was all on his tab. Yes. So And then he got his card taken, too. It was the same, was the same tab. Yeah. <laughs> but he got his card taken away as well. And here, you can say, Oh, my God. Okay. I like it that there's like this black crow is just landing and just listening. Going I like right. the black crow. Yeah. 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 Like, so we're all going to These hell. are my people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me say this. So Jake Dreyer. Like, Allegedly, he's a treacherous creature. No, well, he is treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> he's some sort of creature. <laughs> he's resourceful, though, this little fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> he. So, you know, like, we're about to go to bed. And he gives me an Ambien. And, you know, like, we got a show the next day. And you're on a boat with railings, and you can just fall over and never be seen again, <laughs> cast off to the sea. And, you know, like, I'm like, dude, we got to go to sleep. So he, we pop these Ambien, and we're laying there. I know all of my loved ones, I know you're disappointed, but <laughs> it's my fucking life. So do an Ambien with Jake. So, dude. We take these Ambien and like we're in like these dual, you know, twin beds that are in the cabins and we're looking at each other. It's weird. And I'm like, I'm fine. Fu- wrong already. It's totally true. I was going to say allegedly, but actually, everything is right. So we're like, I'm going to, I'm going to bed and like, you know, like I have like a computer playing shit. I, I, I have Hitchens or something, Christopher Hitchens, like giving a lecture on Mother Teresa or something. <laughs> like the fucking, you know, Bangladeshi cunt or whatever the fuck he called her. But, um, <laughs> so. <laughs> So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, no, no, no. So, I, my, you know when you're like you're really tired and you pass out and your your eyes close, but then something like gets you up. Well, it's Jake and he's like looking me right in the eye. He's like, hey, like David Lee Roth with a fucking spear in the makeup. Let's go Rome. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not gonna go Rome. Like he got the fucking dinosaur, the T Rex. The T Rex. And he left. And I'm my, like, my alter ego. dude, yeah. <laughs> Dude, he left, and then I wake up at like five in the morning, and I see a figure, and it's him, and he's like, hey, I gotta borrow this, and I didn't know what's going on. I didn't know until like the next day, like it dawned on me what happened. So, I get up, and like, it's like noon, one, and I'm like drinking water, doing, I'm like climbing stairs, just getting my like wind up, and I, like, our set was real early, like 5 p.m., like that day. You played the uh, Egyptian yeah. club. Whatever the fuck yeah. So yeah. so I have one drink an hour before. That's my like rule. Like when it, when it, we're on tour and I'm singing, that's my warm up. Right. I don't sing. I don't warm up. My warm up is me drinking and talking to random people. So I go to get my drink. It's 4 p.m. I'm like my. I'm all like decked out in my stage clothes and I'm like got my little card and I'm like do 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 and like uh Mr. Fernie you're uh you're not you don't remember your little old meeting with security at 11 a.m. and I'm like oh no <laughs> I was in bed and I'm like you need to go talk to the front desk and I'm like okay so I, I go to the front desk and they're like yeah, you, uh, you're not allowed to drink anymore. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm like, I know in my, my head, I'm like, it's, it's going to only be fucking drier. And, <laughs> so they're like, yeah, like we got photos. Like you were in the brig and blah, 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 blah. Like and the security stopped you. I guess he tried to run away. 
<laughs> his pants were down. Oh, like objection. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> so, listen. So I'm like, there's no fucking way I was asleep. I took an Ambien. <laughs> and they're like. Okay, there's photos. And then the chick's all like snooty. And they're like, they, they call a supervisor over. <laughs> That's not you. <laughs> I, mm-hmm, I know who it is. So I go back up to the room to fucking yell at you. And he's not there. And I had to go to Anthony's room where you guys were like woodshedding. He's there like, no hangover. No, he's like, <laughs> like you guys are playing the nobody sleeps here yeah, middle yeah, section yeah. you know there's like this weird counterpoint thing i'm like jake what the fuck did you do last night <laughs> you're like nothing i like i went to bed with you yeah. like dude you were in jail <laughs> he didn't even he, dude he's still like two years old no he's like you're lying no way he's the last thing I remember that night was I did take an Ambien and I went up and I tried to make the proper English breakfast. So I remember like just beans being all over my pants though because I was completely fucked up. And um, uh, yeah, apparently I ended up in the brig. But I woke up in bed. <laughs> it's true, dude. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna move on to yeah, another story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. It's, uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, <laughs> no, we can move on. <laughs> Moving on. So yeah, so I wanted to get to uh, the reason we're here. Uh, for, it's for this wine. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you guys could no, just. That's how we got yeah. there too. Maybe you guys could talk about that and how that got rolling. Oh, that was easy. So uh, that was what's that? <laughs> yeah, so so uh, me and Joseph, what year was that? Was that 2019? Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, 2019, we were at the metal swap meet here, right? Um, and uh, we were hanging out. We did a signing, I think, right, that, that day? And, yeah, and uh, Joseph went walking around, and uh, he came across uh, Charlie and Echo, and... Yeah, and... Uh, and... Uh, and uh, Joseph got curious. He's like, "Oh, wine! I like wine." And he, uh, tr- you tried some wine. You talked to him, and you, and you, uh, he like kind of pondered. He's like, "Oh, you know, like it would be kind of cool." You know, we like wine. The band, everyone in the band likes wine. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if we had our own wine. And uh, and yeah, then. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ex- worst narrator I have ever fucking heard. What are you talking about? What's what's wrong with the story? <laughs> it's got a lot of gaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not looking at I'm looking at serious Thank like, you, Alex. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 for fuck's yeah. sake! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Thank you, Anthony Crawford. Take it away. <sighs> oh great! Now we get a long-winded version of the story. <laughs> Dude, your version was four minutes. We still don't know what happened. I was, I just got See, started. One of the interview partners already left. <laughs> I can't take it anymore! <laughs> right, I'm out of here. Hey, I have an idea. How about, didn't even see it. Actually, Marco, hey, hey, just here. Hey, Marco, you have no idea how this happened, but you tell the story. Yeah, that's like, more entertaining than your fucking version. Just make it up. Just Hang on, I'll tell the story. Yeah, it's gonna be short, it's gonna be short, okay? So here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is how. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that was my story. The end. That was good. No, 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 no. That was good. Quick, quick to the point. Right? Yeah. Eric should tell the story because unlike this fucking idiot, he was here. <laughs> Come on, Eric. Have you done an interview like this before? I was here too. We thought you were at the booth. Fucking I was here. Girl. Way to introduce somebody. <laughs> oh. right. Tell the story of how this all came right. together. You might want to come over here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sit in Jake's. Oh, yeah. Hi. I've been fully vaxxed for a long ass time. So, All right. Yeah. Um, what? Not against huh? what Jake has. The wine master. 
the wine master. Thank you very much. So I this is Eric. Uh, well, and you would call yourself the winemaker, winemaker, and Vintner. owner. Yep, and co-owner. Myself co-owner. and my wife. Uh, Technically, uh, she's the majority owner. So. Oh, okay. Watch there out. There you go. <laughs> just like it should be. Right. I am the echo. Okay. So Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo. F- so it's just phonetic alphabet. So it just stands for the letters C and E. Okay. She's Claire. I'm Eric. So she's the Charlie. I'm the echo. And uh, and how did this wine come about? Uh, so we took whatever we had left over. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, so, um, well, back in the day... Um, <laughs> Whatever was on Jake's carpet. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean. um, this guy, this guy, this guy uh, came in during this heavy metal swap meet. Um, I've and, heard of it. Um, I've heard of it, yeah. Anyways, uh, so they came in and we were just chatting about wine for a bit. Um, and they uh, mentioned that they're interested in doing a, a wine for themselves. Um, so I said, that kind of sounds cool. I've got about 15 tables right now. Here's my business card. Let's talk. Um, so we followed up on it. And, and oddly enough, actually, I thought at the time, I was like, ah, they're going to forget about it. Right? I've been drinking, wandering around. Uh, but they were into it. Um, and so uh, we followed up on it. And we talked about it. And um, that was essentially the initial creation. Uh, talked a little bit about kind of the wines they liked and, and whatnot. And um, went kind of into, well, this is what we've got in terms of what we're harvesting already. Different grapes. Let me see if I can put together a blend of that that would kind of fit that profile. So put together a blend of that, uh, sent it over. Uh, you know, really, I was just thinking uh, recently, talking to Alex, it was really unfair. I just sent it to Joseph um, to try. Uh, so I sent it all to him, and I'm like, hey, you know, does this kind of fit the idea of the profile? He said, yeah. So uh, that was it. That was the birth of the whole thing. And now we're on year two, 2019 to 2020. And same kind of blend, same basic blend, uh, same base blend of Petit Syrah, Syrah, Zinfandel, and uh, Nebbiolo, all out of San Diego County, all done naturally. Um, different ratio this year because every vintage it's a little different, so we have to adjust the ratio every year. Super happy that last year we got uh, such a great review out of Wine Enthusiast. I mean, that was the highest rating we've ever gotten out of San Diego for, an, for a natural wine. So nothing added to this other than a tiny amount of sulfide to stabilize it. No filtering or fining or weird-ass crap added to it. Um, no mega purple. No mega purple. Uh, definitely important. no mega purple. Very important. <laughs> I was actually thinking of buying some just to have it here in the tasting room for people to play with. Like, here, you want to put a dropper in there, see what it does? Uh, it is disgusting. Um, yeah, so that's basically kind of the history of the wine. Awesome. Thank you, Rick. Sure. Uh, I think that's all I got for now. And I appreciate Back to other important people. Appreciate Thanks, you guys uh, taking the time. Hold on. You don't want to hear more about Anthony's big black fucking anal uh, justice actually, I do. I dildo? Do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's like, I'm out of the shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we're going soon. Wait, when's our reservation? Oh, shit. Oh. All right, we'll wrap this up. <laughs> we can come back tomorrow. Oh, wait, you're probably not going to be here. I'll be here in the afternoon. Okay, can we do that? I'll get something. Where, where is it? Well, dinner's in 20. 100 bottles. 100 bottles, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, afternoon, like, we'll, we'll, we'll get coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll get coffee and come here. Is that cool? Yeah, you want to do that? Like, yeah. Can we do that? Okay. That way we can, You, if you want to be debaucherous with us, you're more than welcome to come. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm All right. right. So we're going to wrap this up. You got one more thing? Anything else? Uh, you guys can, you guys can uh, ask us uh, anything. Uh, <laughs> anything you want. No, I just want to say uh, thank you guys for fucking hanging with us and being fucking weirdos just like we are. Uh, hopefully we'll see you sooner or later and fuck it. Yep. Look for the wine. Look for the wine. Tempest Red, Charlie and Echo, Metal Swap Talk with fucking Witherfall. Curse of Autumn. Out now. Get it. Later.